Fractions, part five. Hello, everybody. My name is Mr. Kotran, and I will be your substitute teacher for today. How is everyone doing? Good, good, very good. Life is good. Today, we will be learning a very helpful shortcut uh, about how to divide fractions using something we're all very familiar with, which is cross multiplication, which is what? Good, good, very good. So, okay, everybody, we're going to take notes. I expect everyone to be paying very, very close attention. Remember, you have to pay very close attention to succeed in this life. You have to do your homework every day. You have to listen to your teachers. And you have to really study very hard. And you can be the number one student. Okay, let's get started. So, you must remember here. When we're going to put in the blank right here, dividing. Fractions. Okay. Okay. So when we divide fractions, instead of normally, normally what we do is what do we do here? What do we do? Do we actually divide the fraction? Can you divide fractions? Yes or no? Come on. No. Okay. Usually when you divide fractions, you always have to multiply. by the what? What happens, what do you call it when you flip the fraction? When you flip it like this? What is it called? Anybody remember? Oh, you don't remember, it was so long ago. It is multiplied by the reciprocal. Okay, let's say it very slow. Reciprocal, okay? What does that mean? I don't understand, Mr. Kotran, I don't understand. Let me show it to you. It means, when you divide, this says 3 eighths divided by 1 fourth, okay? So, usually, here's what you do. You say, okay, we rewrite the first fraction as 3 eighths, remember this? And then we change division, what is the opposite of division? Multiplication, very good. Okay, we multiply by the reciprocal, okay? Who remembers the reciprocal of 1 fourth? Flip it. What is it? One-fourth becomes what? Oh, my goodness, you don't remember reciprocal. Let me show you. Say, reciprocal! When the bottom becomes the top and the top becomes the bottom. Remember this? Okay. So, if you flip it, it becomes what now? Flip. It becomes four over one. Very, very good. Okay. So, normally, to solve this problem... Now, the division turns into multiplication, and then you multiply across, okay? And you look at the, the, the numerators, okay? You say 3 times 4 is what? 3 times 4, come on. Don't you know your multiplication tables? You should study them every night, okay? 3 times 4 is 12. Remember this? Okay, very good. All right, what about 8 times 1? 8 times 1, any number times 1 is that number. Multiply by 1. It's 8, very good. Okay. Okay. So this becomes 12 over 8, which yesterday, or the day before, whatever, Miss Cotteran told you that this, because the numerator is bigger than the denominator, it's bigger. See, 12 is bigger than 8, yes. What would you rather have, $12 or $8? You would rather have 12 because you want more money, right? Okay. So this is an improper fraction, yes? Okay, I, let's write that, right, real, real quick. Because we'll learn about that next week. This is called improper fraction. Why is it improper? Well, it's because the top is bigger than the bottom. Okay? All right. So, <clears throat> here comes the shortcut. Are you ready? Tell me you're ready. Okay? Okay. So, so here's my little shortcut. Mr. Kotran's shortcut. What you can do, instead of flipping the fraction and multiplying, Okay, you can look at the original equation, the original, yes, which is 3 eighths divided by 1 fourth, and instead you can cross multiply from the beginning, from the very beginning, okay, let me show you, let me show it to you, okay, all right, so for example, okay, if you were to cross multiply, let's write this right here, 
cross multiply. Okay. You can cross multiply the original fractions to find the numerator, which is the top number. And then what's the bottom number called on the fraction? It's called the denominator. Okay, denominator. Make sure I spell that. My English not very good. But Mr. Kotran, how do you do this? I'm so confused. Don't be confused. Okay, let me show it to you. So very simple. Watch me now. Okay. So you know the way that you normally cross multiply. Okay. You start with the fraction that is on the right. The fraction that's on the what? On the right. Okay. And you say. Okay, say I want to, for example, cross multiply. I show a little arrow like this, okay? You see it? Okay. So first you cross multiply like this, okay? Cross multiply like this, from the right to the left. And you say, what is <clears throat> 4 times 3? Remember that one? 4 times 3 up here, okay? 4 times 3. It's 12, right? Okay. 12 will be... The numerator, 12 will be the numerator. So what you do is you put it here. 12 is the numerator. Okay, four times three, we're multiplying, yes? Then you multiply going the other direction, okay? The way that you read is from left to right. So now we're gonna multiply going in the other direction, which is just simply, okay, eight times one. Remember 8 times 1? Yes, see? 8 times 1. What is 8 times 1? It is 8, remember? So that is 8. That's the denominator. So on the top, remember, you had 12 was the numerator. And the denominator is what? The denominator is 8. So I have one question for you. Is 12 over 8 the same fraction as 12 over 8. Are they the same? Yes? Well, it's magic! The shortcut. All you have to do is cross multiply to find the numerator first and then the denominator, okay? Thanks, Mr. Cotran. I'll take it from here. Okay, so we're dividing fractions and we're using the shortcut of cross multiplication. So what's the shortcut? Cross multiplication. All right. So that means when you cross multiply from the very beginning, you do not have to multiply by the reciprocal, okay? So I've writ written down two steps here. The first step is cross multiply. The second step is simplify. What is it? Simplify. Okay, so to cross multiply, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw arrows. And you're always going to start with the fraction that's on the right. The fraction that's on the what? It's on the right. I'm going to say, okay. And don't worry too much about drawing the arrows if you can't draw it, okay? You can circle it if you want. Okay, it's just like you make a butterfly wing. Same idea. So you start with 3 times 4, okay? There has to be a multiplication sign now. So 3 times 4 is what? 3 times 4 is 12, right? Okay, so that's going to be the numerator, all right? Just like in the last example. Then, you're going to cross multiply in the other direction. All right? You're going to cross multiply in the other direction. So what's 9 times 2? 9 times 2 is, what's 9 times 2? Come on. It's 18. 18 will simply be the denominator. Okay? So when you cross multiply, you get 12 eighteenths. All right? So... All you have to do is now take 12 eighteenths and simplify it. What could you divide 12 and 18 by? Okay. They're both even, so could you divide them by 2? Of course. But is there a bigger factor or a bigger number that you could divide both by? Think about your multiplication tables. What could you divide by? Could you divide by 4? No, you can't divide by 4. Okay. What about 6? Could you divide by 6? Yes. And really, you're dividing by 6 
over 6, which we've talked about, is really what? What is 6 over 6? 6 divided by 6 is really 1. Okay. When you simplify, you are not changing the fraction. You're making it look smaller, okay? You're putting it into smaller pieces, but it's the same size. It's the same what? The same size, all right? So let's go ahead and do that. What is 12 divided by 6? 12 divided by 6 is 2, right? What about 18 divided by 6? 18 divided by 6. How many times do you skip count by 6 to get to 18? 6, 12, 18. It's 3. It's 3. It's 3. Yes. Okay. So you get 12, uh, 2 thirds, which basically means 2 thirds the same size as 12 eighteenths. Okay? So that's your answer there. Okay, now let's use the shortcut on this fraction. Again, division with fractions is asking you, okay, if I read this, it'll read like this. How many sixths, again, how many sixths are there in five-thirds? If I took five-thirds, okay, I divided in sixths, okay, how many sixths would there be? Okay, how many sixths would there be in five-thirds? So, in other words, that's five-thirds divided by one-sixth. All right, so what are we going to do? What's the first step? First step is cross, multiply, remember? Okay, remember the direction you want to do first. You want to start on the right, and you want to draw an arrow. Okay, and we're multiplying craw across. So what is 5 times 6, or 6 times 5? 6 times 5 is, what is it? It's 30, correct? Okay. Okay. That's going to be the number on the top. That's going to be the numerator. 30. All right. Now, now we're going to cross multiply in the other direction. So we're going to do 3 times 1. Okay. 3 times 1. Any number times 1 is that number multiplied by 1. What's 3 times 1? And don't tell me it's 1. What is it? It's 3. Oh, excellent. Excellent. So... Okay, okay. So our answer here is 30 thirds. 30 thirds. Hmm. What kind of fraction is this? Anybody know? When the top is bigger, what is it called? This is called a what? It's called an improper fraction, okay? It's improper because the top is bigger than the bottom. It's improper. Now, fraction. A fraction has one of these, yes? This line, okay, is a division bar. It's a division bar. This is really saying 30 divided by 3. Another way of writing this is 30 in the box divided by 3. Does anybody know what that is? How many times would you skip count by 3 to get to 30? Anybody know? Anybody know? Come on, people. Should I sing the song? The song goes like this. <clears throat> 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. I skip counted by 3. How many times? How many fingers? I have 10 fingers. Okay. So really, I skip count 10 times, and 10 times 3 is 30. And so the answer here is 10. Could you find this answer by simplifying? Let's look. 30 divided by 3. What could I divide the numerator and the denominator by? Okay. They both are multiples of 3. So watch. Could I divide by 3 over 3? Could I divide by 3 over 3? Yes. And 3 over 3, any number over itself, is really 1. Okay. Dividing by 3 over 3. What is 30 divided by 3? It's the same It's the same question. What is 30 divided by 3? What is it, guys? It's 10 over 3 divided by 3. What's 3 divided by 3? Any number divided by itself is 1. So my friends, now my final question is this. Is 10 divided by 1? Does that equal 10? 
are these the same thing? Is 10 divided by 110? Yeah, any number divided by itself is that number, right? So the answer you could write as 10 over 1 or simply 10.